Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel, Albino Moon Child Tarot. I'm Becky and I'm going to be doing the general love reading for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising for the first half of September 2018. For the new subscribers, hi and welcome. Uh, for my um, already subscribed, if you're wondering why I'm wearing the eye patch, I actually lost the conformer lens in my left eye so there's nothing in that socket right now and I kind of don't want to gross you guys out then I'm trying to keep away any elements out of my eye so anyways here we go Scorpios the first or the bottom of the deck page of pentacles so there's an offer Either you're bringing this offer to somebody or somebody is going to bring in an offer to you. And this offer is something physical. This could be like, hey, let's go to spend some time with each other, go to a din you know, dinner and a movie or something like that. But it's very solid. It's very much stable. And it's pretty awesome. That's what it is. All right. So the first card out is Justice. Then we have the Ace of Wands. Next to that is the Lovers. And beside that is the Devil. Under Justice, we have Four of Swords. Under the Ace of Wands, we have Nine of Swords. Under the Lovers, we have Three of Pentacles. And under the devil, we have Eight of Cups. So, Scorpios, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn for sure, a Gemini, or a Libra. That's what I have so far. So... Justice and Four of Swords. So something is coming into balance. Something is coming karmically into balance. Uh, either you could be finding balance. Um, like I always say, Justice is always the card about karma. Good karma in, good karma out. Bad in, bad out. This could also be somebody going to court for something. I'm not sure what. We'll definitely get some clarification on that. But the Four of Swords is here because there was something that was, had um, broken your heart. <coughs> something that had broken your heart. You went through a heartbreak and now you're laying it down to rest. You're finding peace. You're finding balance. You're resting, rejuvenating, surrendering, and also waiting. Um, then we have the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So the Ace of Wands is a passionate, creative new beginning. It is like that spark that can, like, go wild, okay? But this is something very passionate. This definitely, like, resonates with you. But you're having worries, fears, and anxieties. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with is having worries, fears, and anxieties. They're staying up late. They have like insomnia. They keep going through things over in their head. Or this could be you. And what they're going through. Is they're having this fear. Is about this passionate new beginning. About this creative new beginning. About this even spiritual new beginning. About taking action. Okay. So then we have the lovers. And the three of pentacles. So this could be that they're having fears, worries, and anxieties about this passionate new beginning because they keep going back and forth in their head. It's like needing to make a big decision as to what they want and what their heart's desire is. Or this could be you. But how I'm seeing it too is with this combination of the lovers and the three of pentacles, 
you are definitely in love with somebody and this somebody definitely wants to build that solid foundation with you they want to work with you this could also be that some um you met this person at work or at an event or some kind of you know event or organization and you guys started chit chatting and whatnot um let's see what else do i see for some this could also be a third party situation somebody's needing to make a decision as to who they want to go towards they are in love but they're having fears worries and anxieties about this passionate new beginning because they might have to get a divorce or have legal documents pertaining to the home or home life situation and what they're doing or what you're needing to do is take rest you will find answers when you rest your mind okay so the devil here and the eight of cups so there is something that is going on where it is a toxic situation this could be sex this could be drugs this could be alcohol this could be even abuse um you feel trapped stuck and you're just tired of it and it's like you go through the motions of life but you're not living it And with the Eight of Cups here is as if you're walking away from that or you're walking away from a Capricorn or you're walking away from a Saturnian lesson. Either way, there is always a lesson that needs to be learned when you're stuck, trapped in an, a, a toxic situation, okay? And that lesson is what are, your, what are your boundaries? Are you going to stay and stay stuck with stupid or are you going to walk away? Okay, so let's go into clarifying cards. So clarifying justice. Oh, dang, I don't even have my little setup up. Oh, well, let's try this. is judgment so again this could be definitely something legal that's going on this could be a divorce this could be uh, a lawsuit that you're dealing with something to do with the court system and somebody's going to be judged or somebody's going to be given a second chance okay so something that can lay to rest All right, clarifying the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Swords is the King of Swords. Now, this could be that you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this person is having these fears about this um, new beginning. Or this could be you needing to embody this king of swords energy and the energy of the king of swords is to emotionally detach from this situation because you're a scorpio you're definitely emotionally attached to a situation so emotionally detach from the situation all right then you'll see that these worries fears and anxieties is nothing it's an illusion and then you'll be more present to appreciate the passionate new beginning this opportunity you have okay so let's see clarifying the lovers and the three of pentacles is the five of pentacles so if there is a third party situation there's somebody that's not talking there's also i'm seeing somebody that's very needy and that could be very toxic too. Um, but this is like no touch, no talk, no eye contact kind of deal. And this could be that you're doing this, Scorps, or the person is doing this to you. Or the person or you are doing it to somebody else that's in the third party situation. Okay? 
and then the clarifying the devil and the eight of cups so you walk away from a toxic situation you walk away from this self-sabotaging energy you walk away from the sex the drugs the the alcohol addictions whatever that is toxic in your life you walk away from it and you're walking towards your ten of pentacles so you find value you find worth you find abundance after you walk away from something toxic and the reason why I say self-sabotaging energy is because Scorpios, you tend to go dark when you go dark. It's like two extremes. When you're happy, you're a happy Scorpio. And when you're not happy, everybody knows it. <laughs> and the reason why I know that is because I have strong Scorpio placements in my chart. Um, My... Venus is actually in Scorpio. So I'm like that in love. I'm very obsessive, possessive, and I'm focused and fixed on my partner. Let's see. So the bottom of this deck, we have the moon. So there is definitely some kind of secret. This could be like a moon cycle that's happening. Somebody's hiding their feelings, emotions, somebody's healing and see this page is coming towards this moon so this could also be that you're dealing with a pisces okay so this page is coming towards the moon um so there's an offer coming and it could either be dealing with secrets about how you're feeling and you're needing to express those feelings so you're giving that offer that opportunity that message um, of how you're feeling like this could be a letter you typed it up or you wrote it down and then you're giving it to the person because you're kind of shy um, or again you're dealing with a Pisces all right so let's go into the angels cards the first one is helpful people there are definitely people that can help you in any situation that you are in um, either esoterically or even professionally like a lawyer a good lawyer um oh another thing that i'm picking up worries fears and anxieties passionate new beginning and with the courts this this could also be the judge or this could be somebody in the military uh or that works for the government um but there are definitely people that are willing to help you all right, um, the second card says, remain positive. Okay, so remain positive. You do have Ten of Pentacles coming in. That's abundance. That's a family situation that's with somebody that wants to, to build with you, to grow with you. Basically, you two are investing in each other, -er, and it's it's pretty awesome. There's a passionate new beginning. There's love. There's there's ten of pentacles. There's you know abundance, finances. You're financially set. You have a family. You know this is things that you can. It's very tangible. All right, and the last card says no. That one, I will not know what that means because the question that you ask yourself or that's in your heart, that will resonate true to what yes or no answer you're seeking. But that is what I have for you, Scorpios. I hope this message resonated. If it does, please thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And if this message did not resonate, check back towards the middle of September to see if it resonated then. If you would like a personal read, check down on the description box below to hit me up for a personal read. All right. Namaste, Scorpios. Love you. Bye.